check if you're wearing the breastplate of righteousness is what the apostle is saying and what he's saying is we can hear the warning today from the apostle paul we can see how much we need to be careful that we each of our days wear the breastplate of righteousness the chief characteristic of god is that he is holy that he is holy that he is holy he is to be surrounding us it is to be the protective wrap of our lives as believers that we agree with that holiness within and we want it in our lives on the outside first we make sure everything in our life is girded by the belt of truth completely linking us to the true god and the spirit of truth and the, and jesus's truth and then we check that everything in us is surrounded by the righteousness of our holy God. We are only protected from Satan's attack when we're living within the righteousness of God. Now, of course, people always say, what's the connection between the imputed righteousness and practical righteousness? Well, to put on the breastplate of righteousness is to live in a daily, moment-by-moment -moment obedience to our Heavenly Father. This part of God's armor is holy living, for which God supplies the standard and the power but for which we must supply the willingness. It's, it's a joint effort, this practical, uh, everyday, practical righteousness. The church today, and, and I'm reading this because when I can still hear my pastor, when I was trained in California, railing on the fact that people are not living out their life in Christ. And I'll just quote him. The church today is often guilty of supplying believers with the paper armor of good advice, the paper armor of more programs and activities, the paper armor of techniques and methods, when what they need is the godly armor of holy living. No program, no method, and no technique can bring wholeness and happiness to the believer who is unwilling to confront and forsake his sin. You know what that means? as we come to communion we are declaring I'm following the path imperfectly not sinlessly but like a bug hater and a worm hater and a snake hater and a, anything else you don't like you won't get near that and if you think it's on you 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 take whatever means it takes to get rid of it and the means of getting rid of sin is repentance the means of getting rid of sin is confessing, agreeing with God. 